Hi everybody, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, we're going to be making our own texture paste. And I'm going to do two different to see if there is a real difference and how do they dry and is it really uh, good for using on your projects, maybe on for card making or just for decorating a box, for example. So it's going to be very simple. We're going to use three main ingredients. I'm going to be using a uh, PVA glue. I'm going to use Elmer's glue. You can use whatever you want or you what you have. For the first recipe, we're going to use a baby powder. And we're going to use also some acrylic paint. So I'm going to use white acrylic paint. You can do that in any color you wish. I think white is nice because you can always come back over it and uh, put another color. Or you can do small batches in different colors. Apparently you can keep these in an airtight container for a very long time. If it was to use on a very long time, I would probably not add water or I would use distilled water because it might go bad over time and have a bad smell to it. But in case it's just for now, you want to use it very quickly, you can also add a little bit of tap water. I have tap water here just in case I need a little bit more because Elmer's glue doesn't have that much water that uh, school glue has, for example. So I'm going to do small batches here. So I'm just going to use a tablespoon. I've already did one. I already uh, tried it out and it seems really nice. So first I'm going to do, I'm going to use two tablespoons of baby powder or talcum, also called. And you can see I'm not exactly very precise. You can add more if you want to and also more glue. I'm going to add one spoon of white paint. And this is quite thick, so I might need to add a little bit of water. And I'm going to use one tablespoon as well of glue. And because it's going to have a horrible noise, I'm, I'm going to use the plastic spoon here to mix it up. That's going to be fine. Don't forget you have a airtight container next to you. And we're going to start mixing. Go slow because otherwise you're going to have all this baby powder floating in the air and on your table is going to be a big mess. But if you go slow, it's going to be just right. And before adding water, I'm going to really start mixing everything really well. And it seems like, yes, I'm going to need a little bit of water here. Just a tiny bit. Don't add too much. If you add too much, you might need to add a bit more uh, baby powder. It doesn't matter. And you can also um, have this more pasty, more liquidy. That's really up to you what you want to have. This one is really thick. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water. I want it fairly thick because I want to have texture. I want to have the 3D effect. I don't want it to be runny. Like any texture piece you can find on the market, it's usually quite thick. So make sure that you scrape all the sides. And of course, this is a small batch. You can do much more. It's very smooth. I think it's a bit too liquidy for me. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to add a little bit more of baby powder. Let's see how it goes. It seems like the baby powder is absorbing quite a lot of the, of the liquid here. So I'm going slow. It's still a little bit liquidy for me. I want something a little thicker. Okay, I think I like this consistency now. I've added a little bit more. And this is quite thick. As you can see, it's quite thick. And I think I'm going to like that better because I know that it's going to take, or hopefully it's going to keep its shape. And it's not going to fluff down afterwards. But we'll see when it dries completely. So now I'm going to take a piece of paper. I'm going to use a black cardstock. And I'm going to use a stencil here. 
And I'm going to apply this in on a thick way, just not scraping it, being really over, going over it in a very thick matter. I'm going to use a little bit more here, quite a lot actually, not a little bit, but quite a lot more. I haven't taped down my um, my stencil, I guess I should have done that before. So I'm going to try not to move. I'm going to use a bit more here. And you can do this really at the very last minute because it doesn't take long. It doesn't take, it takes about a minute to mix everything. Maybe add a little more, uh, not glue, I wouldn't use more glue, but I would probably add a bit more baby powder if you want to have it thicker. Alright, it's really nice to apply. I don't have any issues. There are no lumps. I'm going to apply a little bit more on that side here. So, and as you can see, I'm really covering my stencil very well. You don't see it anymore. Alright, I'm going to take it off. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I, that's really nice. I'm not going to take this away because there's a whole big layer here. So I'm going to put it back into this and then I will put it into a airtight container. But look at this. I'm going to show you the volume, the 3D effect that it has. All right. Can you see this? It's really high. It's really raised. Hope you'll be able to see that. And it was really done in a minute. No time consuming. Very economical. Everybody has cool glue or Elmer's glue. Um, baby powder also. You can. You don't need to buy a very expensive brand for this. Just a cheaper one is going to do the trick. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to clean up my tools. And I'll be back to do the second batch using baking soda. Because it's going to give a little grip. A little grit to the texture. And we'll see how, again, it's going to... Uh, behave after drying. I don't think this one is going to go flatter than this. I think it's going to hold its shape and we'll compare this with the other one. So see you in a second. All right, so now we're going to do the same using the baking powder, baking soda if you prefer baking soda. And I'm going to put a little bit more because it, it doesn't really act the same way as um, the baby powder. It seems to be less absorbent in some way, so I need to put a little bit more to get the same amount. That's what I, I, I found. I'm going to put the same amount though of glue. All right, about a tablespoon of glue. And I will put also a tablespoon of white acrylic paint. And this is quite a heavy body paint, but you can use whatever paint you have. Really, you shouldn't buy anything expensive for this. Baking soda is also really cheap and it's good for a lot of things in your house. Can clean up a lot of things with baking soda. All right, I'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna mix as well. It's funny because the texture looks like puffy paint. It looks like um, like you, when you make a cake and you use baking powder to in your cake, it, it has the same feeling. There's some grit to it, but also it seems very airy, very fluffy. Like if there was a lot of air in it. So I don't know when it's gonna dry. Is it gonna keep its shape? Is it gonna stay you know high and raised? Or is it going to go down and flat? There are no lumps, that's good. And the texture is quite nice actually. I'm not gonna add anything, no water for sure. All right, now I'm gonna use another color. I'm gonna use red for this one here. I'm gonna use the same stencil and we're going to apply this paste. And I'm sure if you want to have more texture to this texture paste, you could also use and add some sand. I 
It's really nice to apply, no resistance, it's not difficult at all. I'm going to add more here. I can see I don't have enough. And I think it would be nice if you want to cover or upcycle an old box, for example, that is you don't like anymore or maybe on a vase or something. That would be nice, I, I think, to apply to have a more uh, a different look to it. Okay, a little bit more up there. Just want to make sure I'm going to have it more or less the same height as on my other example with the baby powder and see how it goes and is it going to flatten out. That's the only worry I have because that's what can happen with a cake. It looks beautiful when you take it out of the, the oven and then it goes goes down. All right, I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to take my stencil away. I'm going to scrape it and I'm going to show you how it's going so far. So again, it's really raised. I'm going to show you this right now. Can you see this? It's raised as at least as much as the other. So right now it's fine. I'm going to let it to dry and I'll come back afterwards to show you the final result and see if it stayed in place or not. So here I am, it's about an hour later, and I wanted to see if it was already dry. This one seems to be dry. The first one on the black cardstock was made out of baby powder, and it's not yet dry. I think depending on the room temperature, it might take between, I don't know, two, three hours, maybe overnight to make sure, because this one especially was quite thick. Okay, so it's going to take time to dry not only on the surface, but on all the depth of it. So that's really important because otherwise if you put something on it, it's going to be squishy and you're going to damage it. But I like the fact that it didn't move at all. It's still very, very 3D. Let me show you this. So it didn't move. It's still really raised and it's absolutely perfect. This one, there's not much on it. So as you can see... I can scrape it. Of course, if I would scrape it hard, it would go away. But if I just put my finger on top, it's not running. There's no powder going away, so that's perfect. I'm really happy with it. And I would wait probably until tomorrow overnight to make sure it's completely dry. And when you look the back of it, it's not really warping. You can just see the little spots where I put my paste. But it didn't buckle that much. So I would put this on a layer and then glue it onto your card or if you want maybe to upcycle a box, that would be perfect just on top. And I love the fact that it's really nice everywhere. And I love the effect. On this side was the one using the baking soda. And look at this. After, I think it's even over an hour, it is still really well raised. You've got some really well raised areas. 3D effect. I love this. It. I don't think that it went down actually, but it's certainly not. If I show you this, if I put my finger in there, it's it's a little bit squishy. Okay, so this means that it's dry on the surface. If I put my finger there, nothing is going off, but it's just that it's very squishy. You can see my fingernails there. So again, I would wait at least overnight to make sure that it's completely dry. But I love the texture. So let me come here. I'm going to scratch this one. Normal paste, nothing unusual. And this one here, I'm going to try it there. Okay, I'm scratching a bit too hard, but it's really um, a texture -y, like if there was a little bit of sand. And you could put sand in here, whether this one or the other one, you could put sand to have even more tooth to it. And I think it's really interesting. This one looks really puffy. And this one it looks a little harder, but both are really nice, are going to have different effects, so give it a try. And it, this is so cheap. 
and it's it's really nice for all kinds of decorations so I would give it a try um, you can find baby powder everywhere you can find baking soda almost everywhere um, some people use it again for cooking so really easy and so cheap to do and again if you want to do very small batches just change the color of your paint use it in a different way when it will be completely dry I will try to put I think it's going to be porous on either uh, of the two examples so you could even come over next once it's all dry completely dry maybe with watercolor we'll see what we can do with these uh, with also alcoholic inks and things like that to see how it moves along and how it uh, it reacts to different kinds of other mediums and colors so please if you like this video give me thumbs some thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to know every time I uh, put out a new video and don't forget to share on social medias and if you have uh, any kind of tutorial ideas that you would like me to do, please leave me your comments below. I will do it with my with big pleasure if I do have the materials or if they're not too expensive to buy. So thank you again. See you soon for other tutorials and take care. Bye-bye.